to me, humanism is about doing the most right for the people in the world. I grew up a religious person and as I got older and started to realize that the religious philosophies I had seen around me weren't doing the most good for the most people in the world. Um, and I came to become an atheist and also a humanist. To me, humanism is looking at all the people around us and realizing that us as human beings, just us, without any external forces, without any extraterrestrial anything, are fully capable of helping each other, taking care of each other, and making our world a better place without needing to believe in anything else outside of our own personal power. We're capable of doing those things, just, just us. Um, and so for me, like humanism isn't just that, uh, set of feelings or beliefs or philosophy. It's really an action. Humanism is something you do, just not just something you think. I had been involved in the local atheist and freethinker community in Southern California. And I was looking to get involved in that again here locally, and I didn't know that this even existed. So I came by and I helped. My first event was helping with the Flying Spaghetti Monster dinner uh, a few years ago, and I just really enjoyed being here, and I loved the kids and the families and the other people that were here. And I've stuck around, got to know more people and our kids, and it's been really fun seeing our kids grow up now in the past three years that I've been here and hopefully more, more kids to come to as well. And uh, just giving a nice space for our, our little guys to have a place to be. My philosophy with the kids really is just letting them have a connection with each other and giving them a place that's a lot of like intellectual and creative freedom our kids spend a lot of time being at a desk, doing work, teachers telling them to do this assignment. Um, at home, they may have their screens and their devices and things, and I have a device-free policy with our kids. So there's a lot of creative play. We dress up, we have Legos, building toys, art supplies. We have a whole yard. Um, so for me, then the time that they're with me in the room, I really let them lead the way. What they want to do for the day, we do. So sometimes we're making balloon animals, or we're playing board games, or we're building giant Lego houses, or sometimes we put on a play and they're dressed up, or they're using puppets and, and making a, a show for us. It really just depends on the day-to-day, -day, but I think the best way to raise a humanist and kid is to really let them use their own mind in their own way of thinking and let their brain work in a way without an adult necessarily just directing them how to do it and just being told what to do all the time. So I really want to let them lead the way and I just facilitate the things that they, that they want to do. I think if you're looking for an alternative to what a lot of people could have for a church it's hard when you have kids, you're looking for that community. This is a wonderful community for your children. We have wonderful, nice families here that all have humanist values that want your children to grow up in a world where everyone takes care of each other. And if you wanna bring your kids here, that's what we're gonna be able to provide for you. So I would love to have your kids come join us and have fun with us and be creative and, and play.